It all started with a trip to Oklahoma City to buy a 27-foot 2002 Fleetwood Fiesta we found on Facebook Marketplace. That's way better color than I expected. Look at that. Man, their pictures were terrible. <laughs> that would be it. Here we go. Would you call it easy to drive? No. Well, you don't really do anything. You just... Make sure it goes. It just goes wherever it wants to go and then you sit up here and pretend you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> this carpeted ceiling that I don't hate everywhere else is gnarly in here. Yeah, it needs to come it's out of here. Wet. This might need some like gutting. Yeah, I want to like... There's some water damage right here that may be from above. The reason why I think that wardrobe is doesn't excessive. need to be there is because we have all this. There's this and these have hanging bars too. Like this is meant to be a wardrobe as well. And, and that even has clothes. a little mini hanging bar. But there's also And this. then there's all this storage. Anyway, that's the whole thing. It's about eight o'clock, but we're really excited. So I'm gonna go out there and kind of clear it out so we have a clean slate. Wow, I'm so sweaty. Take care, but that's all right. Time to surprise box. We would would How about you? But I think that's a million times better. It looks bigger already. We'll just put this on the back of the RV and we can be a seasonal traveling business. Challenging job. Roof carpet is the worst thing to ever happen. And so we can't just take the wood out because the styrofoam breaks. Yeah. Show me the dirt. Look, this is just the dirt that was under carpet right here. Carpet is so gross. Anyone who willfully puts carpet in a house has never pulled carpet out. Because it always looks it's a f***ing skin filter. That's just skin. Dog toenails. <laughs> Build that? Yeah. It's got a bed in the front of the RV. It's got a bed in the front? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Did the sides open up like that? Oh no, I knocked the front off. I fixed yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's the bed. That's the There's nothing inside. I see. Oh, Henry, I smushed your RV. I'm sorry. Uh, well, we can rebuild it, huh? Oops. <laughs> Keep up
carpet. It's weird that we have water in this thing. It makes it feel very like a house. The bathroom skylight, right? Leaking mm -hmm. down. That was definitely leaking. It's just a question of And back. back. Or the outside hose hookup leaking in through. and through. Which I think is and suspect because it's definitely leaking and you can see the water damage in the hole right there. This is the skylight in the bathroom. Shower, shower, shower. And so there's water damage on the floor. And a Henry all going down. So the water came in there, but it got under the linoleum and stayed here. Yeah. And believe it or not, this actually looks really good now that it's dried out. It's solid. It's not soft. And um, most of this discoloration is actually just adhesive backing yeah, from the that's... linoleum so it peels off. So let me go turn the hose up just a notch. Oh no, that doesn't have a cap on it. It's uncapped. <laughs> oh god. Which one are we getting? I agree. I have pulled the curtains out of the front of the RV to give them a good wash. I like to sew, so I might replace them, but I just want to see if we can get some of this like water stain stuff out of them. All right, so the curtains came out of the wash really well. They're one color, they're solid color. I literally thought maybe they were a printed fabric because it was so like water stained. I washed it. Alright, my friends, we have sun protection again. So I'm cracking all the windows in the back, and I'm gonna get the sander and prep these walls for paint. spots of the old wallpaper left it's like oh who wiped their ass on their hand and smeared it on oh that's just where we didn't hang because that's what the wallpaper looked like it's like gross you said the a word <laughs> It was dripping from behind this washer. Okay. Right? And if it's dripping from there, it can pass right through. There's okay. no ceiling. At some point, probably today, these are coming out. The doors. These are staying out. We don't want the glass up here. This is going to be Henry's spot. Uh, when he's in his car seat so we don't want glass above his head and the rest of them are going to come out so we can take them out and paint them hopefully by the end of the weekend we've got floors in and everything and we're almost seaworthy except for taking it to a mechanic and also fixing this sink and probably a dozen other things i forgot Ooh, yeah okay. mm -hmm. this will be good. the wall that henry painted Okay. Some All right, here we go. I got my clean one out. Here's two. Here you, gotta, you gotta get your hands closer to Dada. There you go. All right, there you go. Put them in there. All right, here you go. Okay. Okay, 
Henry is in his painting clothes so he can help me paint all the cabinets. Oh, so now I'm cleaning off all the old butyl tape and Grind. styrofoam mold that got stuck to the old That's skylight. Guys, the camera battery died, but the new ceiling is done in the bathroom. I'm about to. You I'm, haven't seen it yet. I'm about to go in. I'm going to show you guys everything that Casey did. Wait, I got to get a reaction. Before we get to the bathroom, I can show you all this. I just used primer everywhere. This is all going to be white. But all this was wood, all that, all that. It was so much taping because there's just like so many little details in here. Oh my god, it's beautiful, you guys. Wow, it looks so good. You have to do this little trim piece because it's two pieces, which is perfect for the way it all fits together. And then, oh my god, just like putting this back on makes it look so legit. How goes it in here? How's it look? Looks really good. Doesn't it? Looks really, really good. Isn't that like Final shiny? Coat. Mm -hmm. We get to see how my painting in the dark came out. And he's getting in. Ooh, I forgot that we even like did the gray paint last night. It was so delirious. It looks great. Hmm, <laughs> very not good. These look good. These just need another coat. Oh, the tree peed. Dang it. Not done. I'm gonna try to salvage the white by just like washing off whatever that tree pee is. We'll have to repaint the gray, but if the white's good, I can paint the hardware and hang it back up. Hooray, hooray, hooray. I'm just so ready to see something done. It's gonna be good. I'm ready to also like travel and take the damn thing to Mexico or some because so sick of quarantine life. Henry has been inspired by our painting in the RV and he is painting his own masterpieces over here. Hey, see, what are you working on? Well, the sealant here. It has this enormous bead yeah. of silicone. See it down there? Yeah. To fill this gap. Why? Because this is like separated. So it was sitting like oh. that. Oh, hello behind, behind the shower. It, which pushed it open. <gasps> oh no, be careful. Uh oh, where'd our artist go? Oh, he's sweeping. Sweep in the garage. Good hard work. It looks so good. It takes two coats at least, so we're gonna get the first coat on, let it dry, and then come and do the second coat.
As you can see, there's been a cold snap. Mm. We've gone from shorts to sweaters overnight. This is the most, like, this whole room. I forgot to eat these. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until now. What else did they miss? This came out pretty good. I have bumpers in my Amazon cart. Oh, good. I freehand cut all of these and it was perfect on the first try. So it went really smooth. And there's ones up here and back here with the noisemaker above the bedroom. What do you think of the cabinets, Henry? Woof. Boom. Woof. Boom, he says. We're looking at animal books. Just like. I know, just walking around for like five minutes creates a lot of dirt. It's done. Except it's not. But like. It's ready to roll. This is travelable. It is, um, it's done enough. After our first couple of trips, we started to notice some things we wanted to modify and some problems. So the current state of the RV's driving and handling is that it's terrible. The rake here, the angle, is super aggressively nose down. And so it made me want to crawl under and check out our suspension. And let me show you what we found. It looks to be almost totally compressed. And that bump stop is not supposed to have that curve to it. It's just had the sh** beat out of it because we only get about a, I don't know, looks like maybe an inch of suspension travel. You want to see what the suspension is supposed to look like? Well, like that. With airbags in the coilover springs and shocks that aren't completely compressed and, you know, control arms that aren't resting on the bump stops. <clears throat> this ended up being a lot more work um, and a lot more problems than we thought. dry fit. It looks pretty good. clean fit I was going for. We spent the first winter exploring the local national forests and after getting stuck for three days in more snow than we bargained for, we quickly learned it was time to invest in battery monitoring and solar. Alright, let's take a look at what we got here. The battery monitor itself, a shunt, the P negative side connects to the, the negative side of your load, so just basically everything else. which. In our rig is this zero gauge cable that connects up to the rest of the electrical system. So, okay, cool. This seems to seems to be working. And we said, now we'll know how many gallons of light we have left. <laughs> light gallons. That's uh. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I'm so stoked about this. Screwed in with these self-tapping screws I bought into this metal wall. I've taken my battery monitor mark the box around where I want it to be, drill out the corners, and we'll see how it goes.
unending question when we were in the snow and boondocking was, you know, how long can we run our furnace for? And now we know the answer is about 34 hours of runtime. You know, around 20 volts per panel, which is like really good. That means we're getting good sun right now. Yellow. So much easier than it had any right to be. Got the big dog. Good morning. It got dark last night, so I couldn't really film at all, but I got all of the cabling done as far as like routing it, the battery wiring and the solar wiring all coming to the spin. And now before I mount the unit, I'm testing everything out. So I've just gotten the battery hooked up and it's showing 12.6 volts. I'm showing 12.7 up here. Nice day, Dad hasn't been here. No, just nice, Dad has. Okay. I maybe should have drilled a bigger hole. I don't have a lot of room. Oh. Oh. Uh, you can try. You can try again, Dad. Could try again. They yeah, could always try again. So what are these big tanks for? What do those are our new catalytic converters. Remember when they got cut off before? Mm. You know all about those, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to drill another hole in this thing, little Henry. We are charging. Eight amps at 13 volts, 107 watts. We've got 300 watts of solar on the roof, but it's a winter morning. It's not even midday yet. And we're done, finally. Come. From above. <laughs> wow. Look, what a good fan you have built. I can feel the breeze through right the new here. fan so well. Let's get the water's coming in. Yeah. Let's see it in there. Bad day. than I expected. That's RV life. Oh, it's fancy. Look how big it is. It's huge. Blade's gigantic. Now, you ready to have your mind blown? Then press the fan on button in the lowest speed and see how quiet it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's
It's kind of amazing, you guys. I, I got footage of what it sounded like before. You really hear everyone farting in here. Well, you turn it up to two or three and it sounds more like a normal fan. That's the fart masker. The fart masker master. That's the poop masker. That spring, we took off with our off-grid setup and toured the Texas coast, all the way to South Padre Island and back. We also moved into our house at Wilder Mountain, which was inaccessible for the Fiesta, until we got the driveway fixed. I've been in here shopping peel and stick backsplash tile for f***ing three hours. Meanwhile, Paige is making actual progress on something meaningful. What's that? The re reupholstery. Yeah, I know, but which one is it? Oh, one the of the cushions? Big. The seat. The seat. The base. So this is the back. You won't really see it. Yeah. But it matches perfectly. It looks good. Both of these were free. This was my parents' old sheet. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And this was from the Buy Nothing group. Free. Free fabric. Let's go. Like, oh yeah, it's like canvassy, linen-y, it it's woven. It feels like waterproof. It's not. It like, feels like upholstery fabric. It feels like outdoor upholstery. I'm seeing this for the first time. <laughs> it looks great. It's, I know you never see this part, but this like clean line. It's good. It's the, the clean line there. for me. It's so nice it and it good. won't show everything because it's a print. Wow. Oh my god, the gray with the gray. Yeah. It looks yeah. pretty clean. Look at this, is the worst. Look at how grody that is. Sorry for the air conditioning noise, there's a heat advisory today. The RV renovation is back on. We got, we got work to do back here, and the first thing I'm taking out is this wall in the bedroom. I'm not taking the whole wall out. Just taking off this panel. Check this out. just tacked in with nails. I went back and nailed it up after we first bought the RV the first time this popped out and it just pulled the nail heads through and this thing bounces and flex it comes out. I'm looking at a road that's paved and gold. Instead of taking it, I'm taking pieces home. This one fits, we'll cut the rest. With no regard for space or time or speed. Unless it's 45. I think I'm just gonna start laying panels across so that they're always straight. This could get out of hand over here. And I'll come back and mark this and cut it with my oscillating tool later. Deal? Deal. Am I declaring premature victory? Maybe. But that's sweet. In no particular order. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, 
that's sweet. Check it out. Side, are you serious? Shit. Trump's over here working. Did you, are you finished? I'm done. They're done. There's so much shit. Let's clean all this shit off. Check that out. That looks so freaking good. She did such a good job. That's awesome. a woodworker and he built this tray. I'm going to use some removable velcro strips on the bottom of this and the top of the counter so that when we're driving it can velcro on right there and just stay safe. This in a couple's pottery class that Casey and I took a couple months ago. Um, yeah. <laughs> for the bungee cord? I think you should put the bungee, well, you need it higher. Yes. Yeah, I could do that. back into the box. Call it done. You guys, I just yeeted a hole in the floor. Effing YOLO. Excuse my mask. I went under the RV. I measured a few times and I said, I think I'll hit the spot if I go right here. And I'll be damned. And look at how lined up it is with the terminals of the inverter. I'm pretty stoked with that. Let's pass some damn wires through it. Welcome to the underworld, y'all. I can just daisy chain it to that. Dirt. On the siren test. This is how we get our dystopian vibes here.
moment of truth. I've got the jack re-hooked up. That's kind of meta, but it's plugged into my new outlet. Oh my god. Will it work? Nothing happened. <gasps> it's on. It's on. 100 watts. 113 watts. 15 amps pulling across. 200 watts. Oh my god. It's working. All right, I got one end of this thing put back together. Now let's do this side. Inverter. Done. God, it's all trimmed out. Did I get everything? We had it all the way around. We spent that fall in New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona, and took Henry to nine national parks. But the renovation didn't stop just because we were on the road. Got it! Guys, I don't even have time to do a proper unboxing on this for you because I have a very short window before their support closes. And they warned me there's a chance I might have to call support when I hook it up the first time. This is their modem, I assume. Rooftop antenna. More on that in a bit. And here's my SIM card. So yeah, you guys. That's what we're getting on two bars of AT&T service. And we haven't even hooked up the high decibel rooftop antenna yet. It's amazing. I grabbed an alcohol swab from the first aid kit. Versatile. Okay. You ready, Henry? Spiderwebs in there. How does that happen? Did I make it? That means we did it. I can see my shoes. Oh man, will you move my shoes? <laughs> there he is. What's up, dude? We did it. Road trip sin, which is that I left the house without zip ties. 
they do have assorted color cable wraps. Mm. Let's fire it up. We're sitting out here in the National Forest. I've got one bar of 4G on my phone. I am still getting 22 megabit uh, service off of this antenna. Really makes working remotely on the road possible. And earlier this year, in prep for a trip to Savannah and a tour of the southeast coast, we took on our most ambitious customization project yet to reimagine our bedroom as an office and lounge by day and bedroom at night. This is a pretty thin mattress by itself. I'm just realizing. With the mattress out, it's not so intimidating, right? I know. Why did it start going? I don't know. It took off. Did you touch it? I think it's the gas strut pushed up. Oh. Cool thing to have, even if we don't use it back on yeah, this project. That goes in the parts. Grab part situation. Now that I've got the plans all drafted up, I know exactly where the bed slash couch is gonna go. I can pull all this out to get this all finished out into one, one plane, and then I can build the bed on top of it. Y'all ready for the first flip? It's a freaking king size bed! Closet needs a door. 
We're, we're almost done here. Yeah, it looks pretty silly. I like it, actually. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? Paige pulled the carpet out of our closet a couple weeks ago. We had a big chunk of it laying around, and I decided to salvage a piece to cover up this spot on the floor. It's almost midnight, and we leave in the morning, so do what you gotta do to get it done. And I have like six staples for my staple gun. How far will we make it? Oh yeah. That didn't even come close to putting a staple through this burly carpet. Hell no, not happening. I told Paige I was gonna screw it in. She said, you can't do that. Watch me. I'm gonna forever be the guy on YouTube that screwed carpet down. This will be my legacy. I'm calling it done. This project's done. You know? <laughs> For a bunch of half-assed fast work, it ain't bad. And I've been able to set up back here in the back. Um, that's great. Paige has been loving it. We're both just really stoked about it. And it's rained almost every day on this trip. It's just coastal weather. Uh, so I don't know what we would have done. Man, it really turned out great. We couldn't be more happy with it. Holy cow, that's it. That's the build to date so far. Uh, if you wanna see like the interiors and befores and afters and all that kind of stuff, we filmed multiple tour videos over the years, interior and exterior and our boondocking setup. Um, as it's evolved and so I'll link to a playlist of those videos in the description down below as well as playlists for like those different travels we talked about uh, and the entire build series if you want to watch the in-depth videos because there's a bunch of them. oh my god that was a lot of work do you know how many hours of footage I had to go through I had to confront the accelerated aging of my child that deserves a subscribe <clears throat> honestly we've been at this for two years now and uh, YouTube hasn't quite figured us out. As of this writing, we have 600 and something subscribers on the channel, and I bet this video, with the complete end-to-end -end build, we can get to 1,000. So if you haven't already, just reach down there and click the subscribe button. It super helps us out. Now, I promised a big announcement at the end of this video, and here it is. For the last few months, we have been working on converting my Jeep, my Jeep Wrangler, over into a camping setup. Um, we live in the Ozark National Forest. You can't really get this thing out in the woods, uh, you know, for quick trips and stuff. And Henry started school this year, and so our big RV travels are happening when he's not in school. Uh, there's still plenty of that coming. We're still worried. It's not going anywhere. People on Instagram have worried that the RV's not going to be here. It still is. But if you're into watching us build and camp and travel, we're going to be doing some of that in the Jeep. Uh, because it's something that we can get out way more often and way easier where we're at. And it's also something I'm really excited about. I think we'll do some long-term trips in the Jeep as well. So we've got a tent on there now. I'm going to be building out some custom storage. There's there's a lot of stuff. You're not going to want to miss it. So uh, if you're not into the RV stuff, then subscribe for that stuff. If you're not into the RV stuff, I don't need, why This is a video is an hour long. You watched all the way to the end? All right, thanks, everybody. We'll see you around. <laughs> Away. So you use this thing as yeah, a backpack. Strap it all back together. Yeah, backpacks work.